comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scar and I bring you Let's Play Yoshi's Story. Welcome to page 6, the finale, where we're going to do 6-1 Mecha Castle. Let's begin the ending. So in this episode, in the Mecha Castle, I will pick Red Yoshi to get this started. Okay, so for in this level, I will show off that there's a chain door right here. What you have to do is swing back and forth using the control stick on this hammer to get that chain door uplifted. So throughout this whole level, there's going to be a whole bunch of booby traps that I'll explain each and every one of them as much as I can in depth, or as you know, what, at least when you get a general idea of. But yeah, uh, I just want to keep that thing uplifted till I feel comfortable with jumping off. So, yeah, just keep doing that back and forth, and you'll hear a weird sound from Yoshi, but that's besides the point. Let's just jump off now. So right here, you'll see that there's a blade that's going to be popping up any second now, at least when I get close enough. That's just going to be warning you that there's going to be a blade popping up. These are blue blades. At least that's what I like to call them. I don't know the official names to everything, but that's what I like to call them. If you jump every single step right here, you will get yourself your first melon. If you go right here in the middle, you will get yourself your second melon. Pop this bubble, get yourself your third melon. So right off the bat, you get yourself three melons. Right here in the top left corner, though, there's actually another secret. Uh, so you'll see that there's a pink blade. I'll explain them in a little bit. Right here is your first special heart. I just want to go grab it and uh, just run off, you know, pretty much. So, yeah, the pink blades. They fall on this blue strip and they will keep themselves in a good amount of height to hurt the Yoshis. Uh, they're fairly predictable, so... Um, yeah, they, they, they are easy to predict, but they're harder to avoid, if that makes sense. Because, like I said, the height is pretty good to get anything, really. If you just jump out of the way, they can still get you, you know? So this pinwheel, this has a weird hitbox. As you know, I'm floating in the air, and if you were to go f too far left or too far right, uh, you would just roll off. But as you notice, I'm slowly going towards the left. So this is what I mean about a weird hitbox. So all these pinwheels have extremely weird hitboxes. I don't like them at all. They're, they're just really bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump across and wake up this first Miss Warp. And there we go. I'm just going to pop this, get ourselves our fifth melon. Instead of progression uh, going up, I'm first going to go left to get ourselves a little secret. Do not get caught in the middle of that. That is instant kill and that is suicide. So don't do that. I'm just going to pop this thing, get ourselves your sixth melon that gives us our heart free. So I'm going to get all these coins as much as I can because I do want them. I'm just going to get all these. And I, there is a path to the left, but I'm going to go back there later for a really good reason. I just wanted to keep all the Miss Warps organized. I'm just going to get that melon too. But keep in mind that that secret uh, is pertaining to this little pillage right here. So I'm going to go in this hammer and try to get that chain door uplifted. And uh, you'll notice that there's a blue blade right there. You don't have to worry about that when you're swinging. You have to worry about that when you're jumping off, though, because if you're not doing good timing on that and you just jump off, chances are you're going to get hurt. So just be careful with that. <clears throat> so for right now, uh, just a little trivia for you. My mom actually plays this game a lot, and uh, she, she actually, this is one of her favorite games. But for some reason, she thinks that the Red Yoshi, what, what the way she calls it, is as stupid. So... Because I guess her claim was because the way he licks, it doesn't, it's not accurate or anything. I don't know, something about that. But anyway, going about these barrels or these wheels, these normal wheels, this is just an introduction, so they will have ground underneath. But for the rest of them, they will have red spikes and some other has pits. But yeah, 
like so you'll see red spikes right here and that these things right here actually instant kill but the more you'll see them uh, then well you'll see I'll explain them in a little bit right here if you go all the way across in this barrel you'll get yourself your knife melon and actually in the bottom up here if you were to let yourself go and let yourself fall there's another secret right here wake up the second miss warp and you remember that secret that I said about the left side and stuff about that I'm actually gonna go back to the very first miss warp and I'm gonna go to it so let's go over there right now and I'm gonna work my ways that way so I'm just gonna get this one because I, I don't wanna do that so here's a mystery switch this will take you all the way and I probably should have kill the shy guys but that's fine I'm just gonna reset that I should have killed the shy guys because that would have got me more points with the same color but I guess what are you gonna do you know I'm just gonna go inside the clay pot so the reason I did that is because there's a third miss warp right here and uh, yeah I just wanted to make this organized as possible because if you were just to go here first well you'll see let me just explain about the black shy guy the black shy guy if you go close enough he will drop the boulder spikes that will extremely hurt you so they're pretty strong black shy guys if you were to eat them they would not taste good to the Yoshis they would taste pretty bad so I'm gonna get close enough so they can drop them and just wait till he pulls them up and until you feel comfortable just run on under so you will notice slowly going to the left is gonna be this heart fruit now this heart fruit, I don't really need to be honest because, jeez, I didn't even get it. That's great. Because this melon is actually my 12th melon, so yeah, I could get myself the heart fruit pretty easily. Don't have to worry about a thing. Let me just get this melon. I got those black shy guys you saw. Oh, well, I thought he was gonna do that, but I'm just gonna kill you instead of going under because that's what they want you to do. I don't have eggs, but that's fine, I guess. I guess I could technically eat the shy guys because they won't count for points really. So let me pop this thing and as you hopefully saw that was our second special heart. So let's go inside here, inside this clay pot. And this place should look familiar to you. This is actually before the place of the second mist warp. So as I was trying to explain uh, if you were to go to the third mist warp first before seeing the second mist warp, the, the, the clay pot would take you here. So technically in order, in chronological order, you'll see the first one, then the third one, then the second mist warp. Hopefully that makes sense. But I'll go back to where I left off, where I saw the second mist warp. Go right here, jump off and wait for this elevator platform uh, such. I do kind of like this thing, but we'll get yourselves your third special heart right here actually you'll get yourself some coins okay so i can finally explain this in depth now so these things like i said instantly kill and they kind of are random of how they would stomp these things i just call them stompers so the way you want to get past them you don't want to just jump any single time you want to wait till both of them hit at the same time the more you advance in this level the more of them you'll see the more stompers you'll see so as you see right there they all hit at the same time that's what I recommend. Just wait till all of them hit at the same time, and uh, I promise you're gonna have an easier time crossing. So here's three stompers right here. Just wait them out, and you should be fine. I almost just jumped just by instinct because I looked away for one split second. So right here, yeah. Very very helpful advice I could give you. That's just something I always noticed. Actually, something that my mom always did. Uh, but yeah. The red Yoshi is apparently a stupid though to her so yeah just be careful with the ceiling right here you don't want to get hit by those spikes but right here this is going to be your 16th melon because it's hidden right here and uh for these stompers i believe all four of them hit oh god uh i kind of didn't go quick enough i almost got killed there but yeah i believe all four stompers hit so that's why i crossed so right here should be the final segment to this level uh, I'm just gonna point out that I want to have 17 melons to do a strategy that is actually pretty helpful in my opinion. I'm just gonna turn you 
green, then blue, then red, so I could stomp on you. There is a melon there, but I always prefer getting this melon first because it's kind of out of the way. Uh, because, I don't know, I, when I when I get to this and I wrap around to get the rest of the melons, I kind of want to do things quickly. But you'll notice I passed two melons there. Like I said, I want 17 melons because this section right here of the level... Another strategy that I have in mind that's going to help you out. But right here is the Chain Chomp Rage. You're going to see the display of seven melons again. And the Chain Chomp that's going to go after them. And you have to get the remaining melons and beat them towards the race. So right here, Star Flag. And up there is the 18th melon that will get us a third Heart Fruit. So what I'm going to do, because throughout this whole race, there's going to be a lot of booby traps. And this is going to be very helpful to get. So getting this Heart Fruit... It's going to actually help you a lot, so trust me on this. So I'm just going to sprint through this whole thing. There's gears everywhere. It's really easy just to mess up and even die here. So right here, just continue to run. Do not stop even on this spot. If you were normal Yoshi, you would probably get hit easily. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Run, 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 run. I can make it. Yes. Seven melons right there. And that's the most helpful advice I could give you, just getting those things. So I really don't want to... Okay, eat five more fruits so the Yoshi can grow happier. I really don't want to get those coins and kill the Shy Guys. I kind of want to just finish this level really uh, bad oh, T for Tyson, because I'll take him on, I guess. But I, I want to maximize my score, and I... I do want to do that, but I really don't want to go back for three coins and killing two shy guys. I really don't. But for the rest, I will collect the rest of the melons, and that should be it for this level. Hopefully you guys could forgive me about not maximizing my score. But, yeah. So, for the rest of these melons, there's going to be just the final stretch in this level. So that's uh, why I'm going to just... I don't know, just continue beating this thing, pretty much. 27, 28, there's two more melons, and I'll show you the rest. Just be careful throughout this... Ow. <laughs> I forgot about that blade. Either way, freak! Ugh, I didn't want to fall off. Let me just wait for you to finish this level. Get up there! Okay. Be careful with the blade up there, too. But here's our fourth Miss Warp. And I'm going to turn you into Red Shy Guy. At least I can max my, my score here. But if you were to small in this spot right here, you get yourself your 29th melon. Eat just one more fruit so that the Yoshi can grow happier. So let's do that. Get ourselves all the way up here. I'm just going to go. It's pretty much a zigzag formation where you want to go left and right and stuff to avoid those blades. But here's our last melon, and here's the clay pot that will take you to the beginning. So that is it for Mecha Castle. And in every page 6 level, there's going to be a boss battle. And who's that boss? None other than Baby Bowser. What have you here, Mario's little pet? I have pets too. Let's all play together. Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bombs at my ceiling. So right there, like every single Bowser fight, he kind of reveals what he's weak to, but he'll breathe fire from up there just jumping on those ghosts. What I, you could do is shoot eggs right there to hit right in front of his face, or what uh, he was explaining, throwing stuff at a ceiling like so. He throws this stuff in the ceiling, he'll, or the ceiling spikes would hit him, uh, hit itself. Or you could just hit him like right there, but I'll give him a spare chance. Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. Oh jeez. Wait, that count as another hit? That's weird. So, like I want to say, you could actually shoot bombs and they ricochet infinitely. Or, <laughs> I didn't even say infinity. Infinity. I, I don't freaking care. Honestly, I'm just gonna shoot this bomb. It could ricochet, it just continues to hit you. Apparently that was the third hit, that was weird. But you could use that super happy tree to your advantage and use the bombs to ricochet them off to the ceiling. Yow, this hurts. I hate you puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruit tastes rotten to me. 
So in every page six boss battle is actually this exact same baby Bowser fight. So just pointing that out. But that at that note, we already did it. We already killed baby Bowser, and I really don't know where these shy guys are taking him to. But that is it, and uh, we completely destroyed him. So here's our score. And I will mention, oh, 55, 68. I wish I could have got those coins in the Shy Guys, but oh well, you know, whatever. I will mention that this uh, episode gave me a little trouble uploading, not uploading, more like just the video in general. The 33,741 points. Uh, I had a little bit of failed recording on this because the video that I tried to do apparently glitched up at the end so I had to start over from the beginning get all the melons so you'll notice that my score is a little bit different so my original score <clears throat> I had a couple different scores but you'll notice me kind of getting stuff uh, well I had like 33,808 I think that's what I think so at least but that is it and I will put my name as Scar because I can't fit Scar Knight I wish I could but I can't that's fine. Let's just put enter and that is it. And so the adventure began that Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshis stayed, they'd surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshis want to become lunch for a dragon. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean but tasted sweet. The Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. To go any farther, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They like to swim, but the jellyfish sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The Yoshis finally got to the castle on the final page of the storybook. Behind all the noisy machines, Baby Bowser guarded the tree. Bowser was a tough baby, but bad guys finished last. The Yoshis won! Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. Yoshi's Island returned once more and became again the happiest shore. The Yoshis lived happily ever after. Thank you guys for watching Scar Knight's Let's Play of Yoshi's Story. I have been Scar Knight, and White Tigers and Dragons to you.